Today on Kombini Quest, I'm checking out this pineapple Fanta as well as these Japanese tortilla chips. Okay, so it's stinking hot here in Japan. Um, the forecast said it would be 30 degrees Celsius today. So I'm looking forward to trying that pineapple Fanta. But first, let's get into these chips. This is a brand called Don Tacos. This is a Japanese brand that, at least as far as I'm concerned, the regular flavor of Don Tacos, I think, is better actually than the regular flavor of Doritos. Of course, here in Japan, Doritos comes out with lots of interesting flavors. And occasionally, uh, Don Tacos also comes out with some original flavors too. The Calbi Pizza Potato is my favorite um, potato chip of all time. And it looks like Don Tacos has taken a page out of the Calbi Pizza Potato book and actually added cheese to their tortilla chips. So I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna get into these and let you know how they are. Okay, so right away we can see it's just a bag of tortilla chips and as I was mentioning, they're kind of like Doritos, but the shape is a little bit, uh, I guess, smaller, a little bit sharper. Um, I'm not really, oh there we go, can you see there's cheese on that chip right there? So yeah, there are streaks of liquid, liquefied cheese on each of the chips here, so I'm going to give this a try. Mm. It says that the chips themselves have seasoning, as well as there is a, a kind of cheddar cheese sort of streaks across them, right? I really like the original Don Tacos. It has a nice sort of tangy sort of tomato flavor to it um, with the sort of Mexican spices. So, I mean, I like them. They're fine. Um, they don't really have that sort of pizza flavor that the Calbi Pizza Potato does that really pops. Um, they kind of taste less like pizza. Even adding that cheese kind of, you know, tones down their sort of Mexican flavor as well. But still, they are fun to try and they do have the cheese on each of the chips. Okay, so like I said, it's really hot in here. So let's get into this Fanta. Now this is a Fanta W+. Okay? <laughs> so it's Pineapple Gaba. I'm not sure if any of you even know what GABA is. I wasn't sure myself, even though I have seen it. There's a, there's a brand of chocolate that advertises with GABA. So this is GABA. It's nothing to do with the Ramones, but it, it's a W plus, which means du W usually means double, right? So it's got two sort of bonus goodies. Um, this one, as you may be able to tell, is vitamin B. And this other one is called GABA. Now, I can't quite remember off the top of my head what GABA is, but I'll put, I'll put a, I'll look it up and I'll put, I'll put what it is here. It's some sort of, dare I say chemical, some sort of, some, something that they added to it um, that's supposed to be sort of a uh, stress reliever, some chemical that's sort of a stress reliever, apparently. I'm not sure if I have tried a pineapple Fanta on my channel before, but I've certainly never tried one with GABA and apparently I don't know if they're trying to make it seem like it's healthier or something I mean it's still a Fanta but they've included these two other things to try to convince me to buy it so here we go yep that smells like pineapple it smells like a nice fresh pineapple as well yeah even though it's only 1% juice it really has a very bright sort of crisp pineapple flavor a very sweet flavor too as you can probably imagine so yeah, I definitely recommend giving the Fanta a try. I'm not sure if I'm going to be relieved of my stress by drinking it, um, but it, it is tasty, especially on a day like today. So there you go, there's another episode of Kombini Quest. I'm definitely gonna finish this off on this stinking hot day today. These ones are tasty too, but I'm going, right now I'm going to meet my friend. We're going to go grab some Indian food, so I may save these for later. But uh, either way, thanks for watching everybody. We'll catch you in the next episode. So bonus footage, I got some ice cream. So two months ago, yeah, two months ago, I put a poll on my Patreon page and I asked them what ice cream I should try from that vending machine. And this is the one that they chose. Of course, this is probably the most popular one because it's been sold out for the last like two months and finally, 
they restocked. I guess maybe they were waiting until it was a bit closer to summer, but they finally restocked the ice cream machine. So I'm going to give this a try. The flavor we got here is soda float. So when Ken was here, I actually brought him here and we were going to try the top two flavors. This was soda float and I think the second one was like a sort of custard pudding flavor. But it was sold out back even back then. So finally, I'm going to give this a try. So thank you for your patience to my Patreons who have been waiting for me to do this. And for everyone else, here we go. So it came from that vending machine there. It was 130 yen. And there's different types of ice cream you can get out of those sort of vending machines. There are some that come on a cone, like a waffle cone. Um, there are some that are like the, uh, the KFC ice cream thing that I ate in a previous video. And then there are these that come on these plastic sticks. So right away it has a very sweet smell to it. And in Japan, soda is a particular, oops, is a particular flavor. What it usually means is kind of like a ramune style uh, flavor. For those of you who are familiar with the basic sort of ramune flavor, um, how can I describe it? It's kind of like, it's sort of like a 7-Up, I guess, but it has a bit of bubble gum in it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's a sweet sort of candy almost flavor, but it's a soda. It's still a hot day, so this is going to go down well. Hmm. Yeah. It tastes like soda. So this actually does contain milk products. It's not like a, a popsicle, right? So it's got the blue part is supposed to be the soda and then the cream or the, yeah, the cream part is the cream, right? That's why it's not just soda. It's a soda float. So I am getting both those flavors in there. It's actually quite nice. It's not something I would normally buy. So thanks a lot to my Patreons for suggesting this um, you did pick the most popular obviously because it was sold out but yeah it's not something I would normally get usually when I'm getting an ice cream out of one of those machines it's it's usually like chocolate mint or something like that just because it's it's like a flavor that I like and I want I don't I don't really like gamble I guess when it comes to ice cream <laughs> but uh, yeah this is really good I would definitely get this again um, if you get a chance if you're in an area where they have this available give it a try it's actually really good so thanks for watching everybody we'll catch you guys in the next video